It's another time on the power circuit. A must-watch program specially packaged by the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, to bring to you the latest information about the Nigerian power sector. My name is Amara Agugoisi, and I'm taking you through this half hour on screen. Here is what we have for you today. Nigeria understudies renewable energy power plants in Dubai. French Development Agency offers grants for power transmission projects. Power sector experts brainstorm at hydro generation planning meeting. In today's interview segment, the general manager system planning and development at the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, engineer Kabiru Adamu, will be speaking about the process of planning and execution of power projects nationwide on the transmission system. Towards accelerating the growth of renewable energy utilization in Nigeria, the leadership of the Nigerian power sector recently explored a 5,000 megawatt solar power plant in Dubai, the commercial nerve of the United Arab Emirates. The Minister of Power, Engineer Abubakar D. Aliu, visited the 5,000 MW solar PV project in the desert of Dubai with a view to promoting renewable projects in Nigeria. The Dubai's Mohammed bin Rashid El Khatoum 5,000 MW solar park aims to save 6.5 million tons of carbon dioxide annually. According to a publication from the Office of the Power Minister, Engineer Ali was accompanied by the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Dr. Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz, along with private sector operators that include officials of Huawei Technologies. Nigeria has been increasing investment in renewable energy to expand access to electricity and clean energy. The country has a National Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Policy NREEEP, and the Sustainable Energy for All, C for All Action Plan and Vision 30-30-30 that seeks 30% renewable contribution to the national electricity grid by the year 2030. Towards this, Nigeria recently launched the Energy Transition Plan seeking to attain access to energy for all and zero carbon emission by 2060. The Nigerian government and the French Development Agency, AFD, recently signed a grant agreement for the Northern Corridor Power Transmission Project jointly funded by the European Union and the AFD. The Power Circuit brings you details of the grant signing meeting which was held at the Federal Ministry of Finance headquarters in Abuja. At the grant signing ceremony, the Minister of State for Budget and National Planning, Prince Clem Abba, said the grant will aid Nigeria's power plan, especially in the northern parts of the country. I want to thank uh, the European Union uh, the AFD and indeed the French uh, government for this uh, intervention in our power sector, especially as, as it has to do with our transmission uh, lines and substation. Uh, power, like we know, is something that is very, very essential. And uh, what we are signing today is in alignment with the objectives of the National Development Plan uh, 2021 to 2025. So that means we are on track in the implementation of that plan. But just to once again, thank you for this uh, intervention. We're grateful. The Managing Director of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Dr. Sule Ahmed Abdulaziz said, the Northern Corridor project being implemented by TCN is meant to improve the quality of electricity transmission network in Nigeria as he appreciated efforts of the critical stakeholders. We wish to thank the government of France and EU for their support to the government of Nigeria. The Northern Corridor project is critical to TCN as it will greatly improve the national grid stability and expansion plan. We assure all of our commitment to ensure a successful project implementation with the AFD. Our appreciation also go to the federal government of Nigeria through the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Power for facilitating this grant 
from the government of France and AU and the AFD. Thank you all. AFD country director in Nigeria, Xavier Moreau, said the project will build more than 800 kilometers of 330 kilovolts double cycle transmission lines and constructs or upgrade 13 substations. He also said the entire project will add 5,000 megawatts additional evacuation capacity to the national transmission network across Niger, Kebi, Sokoto, Kaduna, Kanu, Jigawa, Bauchi, and Nasarawa states. The objective is to strengthen the grid uh, in the northern uh, region. We call it the northern corridor. I assume it was baptized as such by TCN because it crosses uh, nine states, which is good because uh, I will also think that the states will benefit from uh, power uh, in, the, in, the, in the suburb, in the uh, project areas, which is also a good thing. But what is also interesting to us and the reason, one of the reasons we decided to invest into this project is that it could strengthen uh, the, 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 the generation of uh, renewable energy through solar projects that are yet to take off in the northern part of Nigeria. Um, and uh, it will also contribute to the WAP uh, interconnection. Uh, the WAP is the West, uh, the West African Power Pool. And through this project, there will be the last mile uh, to be built uh, in order to finalize this, this inter interconnection with the Republic of Niger. With regard to all these uh, impacts, it is our strong belief that the Northern Corridor will be instrumental in strengthening a low carbon economic growth in Nigeria and in Western Africa, in line with the federal government's ambition. The head corporation at the European Union delegation to Nigeria and ECOWAS, Ms. Cecil Tassin Palzil, commended the AFD for financing the project, which she described as a critical infrastructure for Nigeria. We are now looking forward to the implementation of this project, which uh, is very important, as uh, my colleague uh, very well explained. And we appreciate this Team Europe collaboration with the government of, of Nigeria. Let me also use this opportunity to appreciate our co-founder, AFD, with whom we have been working on all our uh, 11th European Development Fund of blending operations in the power sector since 2017, and we are happy to continue this successful collaboration with AFD under our new programming cycle, in particular in the energy and the agriculture sectors under the Green Economy Team Europe initiative. Finally, Honorable Minister, let me also thank you and your team for the daily support that you, you are all uh, bringing to a smooth implementation for all EU-funded programs. Also commenting, Emmanuel blanc main ambassador of France to Nigeria, said France is committed to helping Nigeria achieve its commitments on climate change in line with the Paris Agreement. Um, this is very important uh, to us and it shows how uh, important Nigeria is. Um, we're very, uh, France is very happy to support this particular pro project today that we're assigning uh, another grant, another aspect here. Uh, it illustrates you know, our commitment to help Nigeria achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 7, which aims at ensuring access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and monogy, modern, modern energy for all. This project is also very important because it contributes to the regional integration of Nigeria within the within West Africa, as was already mentioned. And we are a key partner to uh, ECOWAS, and to, we will support the strengthening of the West African power pool. So by building this last mine, as was said, you know, uh, of the interconnected grid from Kebi State to the Republic of Niger, this project will help the development of a regional electricity market. The Minister of State for Budget and National Planning, Prince Clem Agba, signed the agreement for Nigeria while AFD country director in Nigeria, Xavier Moreau, signed for his agency at the ceremony. The past circuit continues in a moment. Please stay on.
verify that land before you buy it to drastically reduce the incidence of building under the transmission right of way or encroaching on designated TCN land. Members of the public are hereby requested to verify land near or along transmission line routes before purchasing it. Verification should be made in the Land Development Authority or at the TCN office. This would help in drastically reducing the incidence of building under transmission line right of way and save us all the problem of pulling down the structure or truncating transmission line expansion projects in your community due to court injunction. Help us serve you better. Verify the land before you buy it. Twice a year, power sector experts converge to discuss issues around hydropower generation and to plan for improvement. At the second biannual meeting for this year in Abuja, representatives of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, and the Hydropower Generation Companies had a robust session. Here is the report. In his address at the meeting, the Assistant General Manager System Operations at TCN Engineer Anthony Okomadu urged the participants to devote the needed attention towards brainstorming on key issues at the three-day workshop, which he said could help to boost hydropower generation in Nigeria. The official noted that the place of hydropower regeneration is becoming more crucial in the energy mix as the world accelerates move for energy transition. Emerging trends in the global community which we have started seeing the presence in Nigeria, points to the fact that in no time from now, the business you are into, agri-energy, is going to assume a place of pride and preference in the energy mix of our country. Following the trend of what we are seeing in the developed world, uh, presently as we speak, a very high level conversation is going on between the Nigerian government and the global community on how to incorporate Nigeria into the effort, the global efforts to combat global warming. In his remarks, the Assistant General Manager System Planning of the National Control Center, TCN, Engineer Shola Adeboe said system planning was a crucial part of the meeting, noting that having a robust frequency from the power stations is a great advantage for the national power grid. In the power system, the first area and the best area for you to control Fuji is the power station. It's not only that you can provide all power stations in the system that provide through the excitation, provide the footage stability to the grid. And the blue code also give room for you to provide the stability to the grid. Earlier in his opening remarks, the managing director of Mabon Limited, engineer Richard Madubuyi, welcomed the participant, noting that collaborative approach is key to tackling power issues in Nigeria. The management of the company hosted a meeting. Mabon is a 40 megawatt hydropower generation company in Gombe State. The importance of a collaborative approach to tackling issues of power in our dear country cannot be overemphasized. And our coming together as stakeholders in the hydropower generation subsector has and will continue to yield the much desired fruits of identifying, reviewing, and harnessing areas of common interest with a view of achieving the greater good of our country, Nigeria. Mabon is going to increase the irrigation water supply from 3,000 hectares to 5,000 hectares in the near future. We also intend to increase our power generation in the next few years. We are planning to improve our contribution to the national grid operation by providing black start operation where necessary. We hope that the decision will switch today and over the next two days will be for the best interest of the stakeholders and ultimately Nigeria. This is the interview segment of the Power Circuit. Meet the General Manager, System Planning and Development at the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Kabiru Adamu. 
He'll be discussing the role of his department in the planning and execution of power transmission projects nationwide. What is the role of the system planning department under the independent system operations section of TCN? Some of the responsibilities we cover in this department includes systems analysis, where we evaluate the transmission system adequacy and the level of reliability it can provide relative to the operational requirement of the system. We also do system studies to be able to come up with various scenarios and alternative options of reinforcing the grid or coming up with mitigations that will improve the service delivery of the transmission system. Along with that, we equally do long-term transmission expansion planning, which seeks to provide a framework for the transmission infrastructure uh, development plan that will seek to make transmission system available in a timely manner to meet the ever-growing electricity needs of Nigerians and also uh, interconnection within the regional uh, countries of ECOWAS. TCN has a transmission expansion plan. What does this mean? Transmission expansion planning is a process that develops a long-term plan which seeks to look at the growth in the demand side forecasted over a long period of time usually a planning period of like 20 years is what we consider in TCN and come up with a plan that will follow the forecast of this demand and see how we can merge it with the potential growth in the generation sites and where are the requirements of the transmission infrastructure to be able to link up these two ends of the value chain which is the demand side and the generation side so based on the forecast of what is required and, based on, and the focus of the generation that will be required to meet up this demand the transmission planning comes in the media to be able to map them what are the planning criteria your department uses to forecast power transmission expansion the planning criteria has a lot of inputs into them. The first I will have to look at is the demand. That is the genesis of planning. If today the demand of the country is say 5,000 megawatts, what do you expect the demand of the country to be in the next 10 years, in the next 5 years, 10 years, 15 years? Once you are able to establish that, you are trying to, you have met the first requirement for transmission planning. Now. Having established that, you now look at, okay, where do I get additional generation to meet this new demand that I have just established? You go back to the other side and look at also the generation size. So some of the criteria you must put in place in doing that is first to determine the load demand. That's one. Two, you come up with uh, the variables, even in establishing the load demand. You need to come up with the variables like urbanization, population growth, all that, all that. You have to take them into consideration because otherwise your demand cannot be established properly. So you establish that. Then you also look at if I'm extending power, am I sure where that demand that is projected, where is domiciled? So as I'm planning, I'm also rating my, 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 the materials I'm planning for the expansion to be able to meet the gradients of what I want to serve. There has been relative improvement in power supply. What role did TCM play to achieve this? You may have seen in the recent uh, days here, I think from starting from 1st of July this year, that there is general improvement in electricity supply across the country. Yes, transmission company working together with different uh, stakeholders in the industry. I mean the other operators, the distribution companies, the generation companies. Uh, midwife by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission have been able to establish a better synergy within the operational framework of the system. That has contributed significantly to the improvement we have been experiencing uh, in the last three weeks. Obviously, it shows that the synergy among the various operators has not been very uh, strong in the past. But what with the, with the recent development being put together by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, what is what they call the partial activation of contracts, we can see that working in synergy 
among the operators within the grid gives us great opportunity to do better services to Nigeria and Nigerians. What we need to do now is to see how we can sustain such improvement by enforcing and complying with the various obligations the parties within the industry have taken upon themselves to ensure that the partial activation of the contracts is sustained and Nigerians get electricity as expected. TCN is making numerous investments in the power sector. Of what impact is this to the national grid? TCN investment, of course, is a backbone through which every other segment, which is the distribution side and the transmission side, now come together for the entire value chain to operate. So TCN investment is a key, is the backbone upon which you can now ride to deliver your generation resources or to uptake your distribution load for you to be able to deliver to the Nigerian uh, population. So TCM, TCM investment is always relevant and always uh, useful to the value chain because it is the interface between the source and the load. You earlier talked about sustaining the gains of improved electricity. What is the collaboration strategy of TCM? Working with various stakeholders by system planning is a continuous process. We are in touch with the, with, the, with the various stakeholders through different means. From the operational perspective, every day we interface with them and we exchange data of what is happening on the grid based on the reality. And over time, we also work with them to look at their plans, how they intend to grow, and how we are now going to be able to also grow the transmission system to meet with the growth of the various uh, stakeholders. So for instance, the distribution companies have different interfaces with the transmission company of Nigeria, and those interfaces have dynamic requirement of power demand. System planning works directly at each interface with the concerned distribution companies to be able to make sure that what is available at that interface is actually meeting up the need. And if there is no, if it is not meeting such need, we come up with through various studies with what kind of enforcement requirement is required. So we're engaging with these various stakeholders on a regular basis, almost on a daily basis, and then periodically on a monthly, quarterly basis. As the need arises also, we also do that. You have heard from engineer Kabiru Adamu on the efforts of the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, towards planning and delivering critical transmission projects in Nigeria. The company is determined to do more and continues a robust expansion program in line with its transmission expansion master plan. You are on to the power circuit. Here are the reports we brought to you. Nigeria understudies renewable energy power plant in Dubai. French Development Agency offers grants for power transmission projects. Power sector experts brainstorm at hydro generation planning meeting. And our interview personality today was the general manager, system planning and development at the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, engineer Kabiru Adamu. His department oversees the continuous planning and execution of power transmission projects nationwide. That is it for this edition. We have got all episodes of this program on the TCN YouTube channel. And we have more of these platforms to keep the conversation going. We hope to bring you more power sector reports on the power circuit. I am Amara Agwesi.